Hi, I'm John Young of Landscape Painter. And as you can see, I'm starting to draw in something of this. Not exactly that. This is a photograph. And I've changed everything. So this is an original. And the focal point is obviously this man. This is great, but this is the most important thing. It's what we call our focal point of interest. And here's this man coming home, walking back with his dog, which go in there later. This tree is smaller, so it's back there a little ways. That brings us down here nice and heavy. So I have foreground strong here. Then we go back much softer, and then eventually to my distance. I don't want to do any more because I'll paint the sky first. The sky is the first color we use. This is about a five minute drawing, uh, to which, unless I see certain changes, that isn't that, this is in front of this, that is way back there. So I have established foreground, middle ground, and distance. Now the most of all things, put your pencil down and look at it and be very frank with yourself. Is it going to be just an ordinary painting? The world is full of ordinary paintings. I want this one to be a little different. What can I do? Shall I make this tree smaller? Shall I make it larger? All that's going through my mind. Balance is very important. So here's my basic drawing. Uh, I, I don't think I want to change it too much. He's coming up over the hill. His dog's waiting for him here. He wants to get home. And here's the uh, where a truck had been through some time back, maybe. So we have that line there. And these, it's a line to you, but to me, it takes you into my picture. And the focal point is obviously this man. This is great, but this is the most important thing. It's what we call our focal point of interest. And here's this man coming home, walking back with his dog, which go in there later. This tree is smaller, so it's back there a little ways. That brings us down here nice and heavy. I need white to lighten colors. I need a lot of gray, paints gray. And there are greens in there, very subtle greens. Blue greens, lavender greens, all, they're all in there. Not much color, but there's enough there for me to work from. I like it like that, it's a very cold winter. Okay, so we get it this first. Then all of this is superimposed over that. Here's my middle ground, which incorporates all the snow. And again, the snow isn't white. It has a little bit of yellow, see a little bit of yellow in there. People look at me and they thought it's crazy. Well, you have to be a little bit crazy to paint. So with a little more paint, see I'm scared to get too much on there. There. Now with my medium, a little paint, I'll block that tone in. This is a thin, rough suggestion, and it's done fairly fast. Okay, as you can see here, this may not be permanent. It's going to be the backdrop, which is a long way back there. Now I'm trying to get it just approximated like that. I thin my pigment with mineral oil, as I say. Turn time is out. That's too much of an odor. This is cheap, it's good. Now there's roughly, what I'm doing, I'm trying to kill the white. Now this is roughly, I'm not spending much time on this. I just want a wash. Now white on its own is no good, you see. So we put a little blue, cobalt latent blue is to me a wonderful blue. Most artists use it. Years ago, it used to be 
French ultramarine, but this has a wonderful depth to it. So I'm approximating a thin wash of blue here, just enough, you see, to, I don't want to lose my tree, so I'm just doing it very roughly. The blue on its own is no good, so I use a little touch of Felician Crimson. Now I'm <clears throat> approximating color. It goes through here, through the back of the tree, comes out here. And I'm painting a little thicker now because I'm moving into my picture, you might say. This is that snow, it's a little blue, but that will be the underpainting. When I put the white to it, it comes up nice. So we kill this here, get the snow approximated. Now here's a basic tone of the snow, it's not the true color. And we very thinly suggest. So we finish up with this uh, light value here, bluish white, which is all the way through here. And it's up on here. Pure white, you might say, here. Very quickly. And a lot of white through here. And then we have a shadow here. We get blue, a little bit of that. That is approximately the middle tone of that shadow which will be painted <coughs> very thinly and relatively fast. I gotta make sure that that's the same as that. So I'll take my old friend here. And the snow, this is in light, but he has a lot of shadow here. So I'll quickly approximate that. Now this will all be, runs up to that tree, and into some of that road, it's very something like that, very quickly, and there'll be some shadow here, not much, some here, not much, but it will be there, little medium, there's my tree. And that tree is in here. It's not quite that dark. So we add a little bit of light to it. Right. Now we're just roughly, very rough indeed, bring that tree down. I like that color, it's not pure black. Black is not a color, black is the end. And this tree has a, an effect, something like that. That's, but now that's, I'm not going to detail in the end. This is roughly a tree. It has a piece of it which will soften it in. There's my tree roughly here. On the top of that tree, more or less like something like that. So we partially clean off our brush and quickly approximate our tree. That is the position of that smaller tree. Now I don't spend a lot of time doing this because I may want to, I probably would have to change it. These small branches are just the main ones and they have gone hopefully down to here. This has ivy growing on it so we 
Look up dark, huh? I breathe that myself again. I just want to remind myself that that's Ivy. And he goes up through here, a little, little ragged. Here, here. This is a younger tree, and here. This has all kind of branches, but I'm just not sick of how it looks. I've got to get lighter at the top. These are good. These trees have all kinds of dogs around. It goes beyond there, here, down through here. Little pieces become into here a little stronger all around. This darker value, and see that's why I don't bother drawing that tree completely. I don't know how this is going to work out. Now with this brush, I'll block out all this time. Now this cool blue gray here, a lot here. Shadows cast by this big tree. Gotta be careful. And this will run down something like that. The shadow side of that tree. Get rid of that brown line. Shadows cast there. The shadow of that tree. The light is here, so the shade shouldn't be around that man. Something like that. Then this will be broken, indicating direction. This does go straight down. It has a bit of an angle, so like that. So we approximate that. That sort of the. And now we have a slope. This is like this. Is there really is what we call the laying, the drawing with a little bit of color. Clean the brush, stop, and get back a little bit from it. And look at the darks on that light. This will be a little darker, so that will soften these. These will be a little lighter, good. The fine detail, all this, I'm going to be patient, it has to be finished first. But there is an approximation of a painting. Here's my focal point, secondary, and this is the natural thing. He's coming over the hill, so we, we run this a little higher, so it's not, doesn't have too much there. There's the laying, or layout if you wish of a painting. A rough drawing, an approximation of colour. A little strong, so we thin it. And we say, I think we're going to suggest this now. It's blue, but that is grey. Now this has a remarkable effect on the painting, because this is lighter there. But this will go right through here. Again, I'm not painting, I'm suggesting it so that I can, if necessary, change it. Now we're a little lighter there, so we put a more light in there. Approximate the sky and see how this picture looks. It gets much lighter here because that's further away, so we do it pretty light. It's sky mode in here. But we change it now until we get it right. It'd be a little soft up down here because this is further away. What do I do next? Well, I don't rush it. I look at my drawing and I say to myself, hmm, do I like that? I want to get a lot of detail here, small branches. This, that is fun to do. That's, I look upon this as the reward for struggling here with this. And it comes out great. All painting is drawing. That's it, that's it. Now I prepare a full palette. And you have an interesting picture. And all painting is the easiest method 
when you into color into a different media like watercolor once that's on there it's there you try to get it off it's hard here I can take it off if it's dry and scrape it off paint over it it's a best way of working I love it it's great painting is a lot of fun it's a lot of work and you have to learn a lot about composition for shortening and then color color comes last this style of painting is what an average painter does. You suggest line, take it out until you say, I like that. This, I want it smaller, I'll change it. You do it loose, that's not that tree, that's just the placement. Now I'll change all that so this is lighter, the small branches, that is a reward for all your work here. And uh, we, don't copy per se, we put ourselves into it. We've seen trees, studied trees, uh, books, drawing books of trees. I love this tree, I like that. I'd like to thank you for watching. It's just popped up there. <laughs> it's great.